So vaping with nicotine e-cigarettes is addictive and the chemicals in that vapor are harmful. But the concept of harm reduction is that vapes are likely less addictive and less harmful than tobacco cigarettes. So if a cigarette smoker exchanges their smoking habit for a vaping habit, they've potentially reduced the harm that they're exposed to. Which leads to the question that many people who smoke often ask themselves. Can vaping help you quit smoking? Let's get into it. Cigarettes are addictive mainly because they contain nicotine, which is a very addictive substance. And although that nicotine in itself isn't harmful, it's those other 7,000 chemicals that are released when we burn tobacco that damage our lungs, cause cancer, cause heart disease, etc., etc. So the concept is that if we could deliver the nicotine without all those other chemicals, we would satisfy the smoking addiction, but without all the other harms that come with tobacco. In fact, that's what we do with nicotine replacement therapy. We recommend nicotine gum or lozenges or inhalers or sprays and patches, all as alternative ways for people to get that nicotine so they can stop smoking. When people use these, as they get more and more of that nicotine hit from the product, they need less and less from their cigarettes. And eventually we switch them over completely, and the idea is that we wean them off that nicotine replacement, and they're done. And these products work pretty well, but as smokers know, it's not just the nicotine that's addictive. It's that habit component, that physical cigarette, that hand-to-mouth motion that becomes very familiar and comforting to people, and that feeling of immediate gratification from an inhalation. All of that is part of the addiction. And you don't get that from a patch on your arm, but you do get it from an e-cigarette, which is why some people consider e-cigarettes to be the best nicotine replacement device to help people quit smoking. To test this theory, there have been over 60 different studies involving almost 17,000 smokers comparing e-cigarettes to counseling or other forms of nicotine replacement for quitting. And a major scientific review was published in the fall of last year and showed that people who use nicotine e-cigarettes are about one and a half times more likely to quit than people who use other nicotine replacement products and two and a half times more likely to quit than people who get counseling alone. Other studies have also suggested that people with smoking-related lung diseases like COPD might be able to cut their smoking with the help of e-cigarettes, and that can actually improve the symptoms of their disease. Now, all of this is encouraging, but not everyone agrees that e-cigarettes are the right option to help people quit. And the reason for that is that we only have a handful of well-conducted studies, and those studies are still relatively small. Also, none of those studies look beyond two years, so we don't know if the benefits are sustained, and we still don't know what the long-term side effects of vaping might be. So, should you try e-cigarettes to help you quit smoking? Unfortunately, there's no easy answer to that. In my practice, I try to help my patients quit with existing nicotine replacement products and drug therapies that are approved, that have strong scientific evidence and long-term safety data. But if patients don't succeed with those and they wanna try e-cigarettes, I simply present them with the pros and cons and the uncertainties, and I encourage them to make their own decision. If you're thinking about it, have that conversation with your doctor. For more health and science info, subscribe to the feed.